Welcome to my channel. It's so good to see all you guys. It's been a while since I sat in front of the camera. I haven't been feeling my best and I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to everyone for your well wishes and your prayers. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You don't know how good that made me feel. Today, this video is the Get to Know Me tag. And I was tagged by Rachel Evolve. She has a beauty channel and she is a beautiful and wonderful woman. The focus, I would say, of her channel is the review of high-end uh, makeup and eyeshadow palettes. And I really like how she does it. She gives you like the pros and cons. She lets you know what she expects out of whatever product that she's reviewing. And the one thing about her, she is not going to purchase anything. I mean anything unless it's animal cruelty free. And I like that about her. She uh, stands firm on her grounds with that. So I am going to link a picture of her up here in the top so you can see how pretty she is. And I'm going to link her channel in the description box so that you could go over and show her some love and tell her that Age Graceful or Michelle sent you. Okay, so let's get into these questions. Question number one, what is your name? Well, I just said it, my name is Michelle. Some people know that and some do not. And that's Michelle with two E's and two L's. When is your birth date is question number two. My birth day is December 16th, right before Christmas. Yes, I'm a Sagittarian. Number three, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is ice cream. Yes, ice cream. I could go all day without eating food, but as long as I have my Arby's vanilla shakes that I go out and purchase during happy hour, um, and I'll get like in between eight and 10 of them. When they see me coming, they just say how many. And I have a little uh, cooler, uh, zip up cooler that I take with me to keep them cool till I get home and I put them in the freezer. So I might eat ice cream at night before I go to sleep. I'm like a baby and that's my bottle to have the ice cream. Or I might take one to work and I'll eat ice cream for breakfast. I like it that much. Okay, question number four. Cat or dog? I'm going to say dogs. I've had not a lot of dogs, but I've had a few over the years. And presently, I'm taking care of my mom's dog. My mom passed away, so I have her dog to kind of give my dad a relief from going up and down the stairs to take him out to use the restroom. And it's a Pompeon, which is a very small dog. It kind of looks like a little toy collie to me. The hair kind of sticks up and he's kind of perky. But Bandit is his name and he's getting older, but he's still eating good. So that let me, lets me know that he's healthy and not sick because he loves to eat. Uh, I did have one cat. At that particular time, um, I was going with uh, my husband who passed away at the time. He came over to visit one evening, and when he came in, the cat went out, and I never saw Sparkle again. I don't know what happened to Sparkle. She was an all-white cat, uh, and I had her from a kitten. That's the only cat that has been in my life. 
Question number five. What one item would you bring if you were stranded on an island? The one item I would bring would be my jewel. This is nicotine. I quit smoking almost five years ago and I've been using the jewel ever since just to get a little fix of nicotine. But I'm very proud of myself because I'm on the lowest milligrams, which is six. The highest is 24. So if I have this, I think I could wait until I was rescued. This would keep me calm. Okay, number six, what is your worst fear? I can't say that I fear anything. I might worry or have thoughts about something because I'm, I'm from Detroit. I'm not going to punk out. Okay, let's keep it 100. But my worst thought would be if something were to happen to my children or my grandchildren. So I guess you could correlate that with a fear if something were to happen to them or Mr. G. Okay, question number seven. What is your favorite band or singer? That is absolutely easy. Snoop Dogg is my favorite. Yeah, I know. But I love me some Snoop Dogg. I have pictures of Snoop Dogg in my bathroom. I have pictures of Snoop Dogg on my desk at work. I have a poster. It's a Colt 45 poster that was at the liquor store. And Mr. G asked the owner of the store, like, when they got ready to switch them out, if I could have it. So I have that presently hanging in one of my rooms. Yeah, I like Snoop Dogg. I've been to his concerts. Uh, one time, I remember I was in my 40s, and uh, the first 20 women that got up in line and lined up That's right, I was in that line, baby. I jumped over my girlfriend. She went with me. Uh, shout out to Savannah. She went with me. She, might, she was like, girl, we're going to see Snoop Dogg. She was like, because I love you, I'm going to go. I still appreciate her to this day for going with me to that concert. Okay, yep, Snoop Dogg, I love her. Okay, question number eight. What is your favorite TV show? Well, if you know I like Snoop Dogg, I must like some ratchet stuff sometimes. I love love and hip hop, and I'm sitting up here now doing this video, and love and hip hop is on right now, and I'm missing it, but I know it's going to come back on in a couple of hours, so I'll catch it a little bit later, but I love love and hip hop. Uh, LA, love the hip hop, Atlanta, love the hip hop, flip flop, wherever it is. I love, love and hip hop. That's my favorite show. Number nine, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie, I would have to say, is um, The Titanic. I love that movie. I love that necklace, and I have a necklace that looks similar to that big one she had. One day I'll wear it for you. And I think that Leonardo DiCaprio was really cute in there, and so was his girlfriend. I, I like that movie. I've watched it several times. Question number 10. What is your favorite way to spend your Saturday? Why, of course, doing YouTube is my favorite way to spend Saturday, as well as to cook a little bit. And I apologize, guys. There, It's kind of warm out. I have my window open, and there's a motorcycle that just went by. So that's how I like to spend my Saturday. It's Detroit. I like to spend my Saturday cooking a little bit and doing YouTube videos, watching YouTube videos, doing reviews, just, you know, chill accent. That's how I like my Saturday. Question number 11, sweet or salty? That's easy, sweet. I 
I would pick sweet. I have a sweet tooth. And I think that I might have a sweet tooth. I didn't have it when I was younger, but I used to party back in the day. So, you know, alcohol has a high sugar content. So since I don't drink like that, um, I guess I'm replacing my sugar with candy or ice cream or whatever. But I pick sweet over soft tea. Question number 12, coffee or tea? I am going to say coffee because coffee is so versatile. You can have it cold. You can have it frozen. You can have it hot. You can have it with whipped cream. You can have it with hazelnut. You can have it with caramel. You can have it with chocolate. You can just do coffee in so many different ways and at so many different temperatures. You can even have a shot in it and make it strong. You can I can't. If I have high caffeine, my heart races. So I have to have all the, uh, for lack of a better word, the fruity tea, sweet coffee, you know, that type of thing. But I select coffee over tea. Question number 13. Who was the last person you kissed? That would be Mr. T. When I got home from work at 4 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock now. I get a kiss every day when I get home. I get a kiss every day before I go to work. And sometimes in between, if I'm cooking dinner on that day and we pass each other, I'll get a kiss. And sometimes before we go to sleep, we give each other a kiss. So that's the last person I kissed. Question number 14, and this is the last question, guys. Who are you going to tag? I'm going to tag you, Psychics Anonymous, Inga Loves Life, Montgomery Family Channel, Emma, and Diamond 76 Home Decor on a Budget. That's who I am going to tag for the Get to Know Me tag. I can't wait, ladies. All right. I appreciate you all staying long enough to listen to everything about me. I hope that helps you to get to know me a little bit better. And I want you guys to continue to come back and watch my videos. If you are not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I sure would appreciate you. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out if you didn't hit it coming in. God bless you. Everyone have a good evening. Take care. And